Hey guys, Alpha Ginger here. Are you looking to spice things up this holiday season at your family dinner? Well, look no further. Today, I will show you how to make the perfect chicken dish for your family dinner this holiday season. I guarantee you, if you follow my instructions, my two-part instructions here, I guarantee you, you will be the talk of the town this holiday season. It's real simple, real easy to do. So first, obviously, what you're going to need is a bowl to mix your seasoning in. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be this big. This is just for exaggerated purposes. So first, with your seasonings, what you're going to want to do is take the seasonings. And you're just going to want to dump in as much as you feel. You know, this is your choice in the seasoning. You want the flavor to pop, so you choose how much of that flavor comes in to the bowl. So we just do about that much. That's, that's good enough here. Now we take some ground coriander, something like that. It's your decision. So we're just going to dump as much of that in there as we feel. That sounds good enough to me. Then we're going to take some more and we're going to take some more. We're just going to pour these in. We're not even going to look. We're just going to do it. No look. No look. That's good enough for me. And you know what? Sometimes it's too hard to get that plastic seal off the top of your seasonings. That's totally fine. We're just going to throw the whole container in there. Then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take an apple. You don't peel it. You don't slice it. You just throw the whole thing in there. The core really helps keep this dish together. I promise you. Then, what you're going to want to add now is simply some Canada Dry ginger ale. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be full of ginger ale. You just want the cans for this dish. Now, I would say it takes about two cans to make this dish really pop in flavor. So, you're going to want to throw the whole can in there. So, now that we have our seasoning mixed really well in our bowl, we move on to part two of this dish, which is realizing that this is going to taste horrible and that you will be the laughing stock of your family dinner this holiday holiday season. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your bowl, your mixture of seasonings, and you're going to want to take that. You're going to want to throw it off to the side. That is unimportant now. You know what? Chicken's unimportant too because you're not going to cook it anyways. So instead, what you're actually going to want to have is a nice bottle of wine on hand at all times this holiday season. Now, usually for my wine, what I do is I go to Walmart and I go to the wine aisle and I usually look for a 1.5 liter bottle. That's usually enough from my experience to really laugh last through the family dinner this year. And you're going to want to make sure that you have a decent sized glass to drink your wine out of because you never know how much of it you're going to need this holiday season. So what I usually do is I take my wine and I pour it about to the top of the glass. That's usually a good way to begin the night. Now, every time that a touchy subject is mentioned or political topics are brought up, what you're going to want to do is you want to take your glass and you're just going to drink. Drink until you forget what you're doing. Then, if you run out, no worries. That is why we bought the 1.5 liter bottle. We have plenty of quantity in order to survive the family dinner. So, if you follow this two-part process in order to make the best dish this holiday season, I guarantee you, you will not only survive the holiday season, but you will actually make it the most enjoyable holiday season you have ever experienced.